Welcome to Crafting Hue Tech. This is part one of our brand new series on Bamboo Studio. Over the next few episodes, we'll be taking a complete journey through Bamboo Studio, the slicing software that powers Bamboo Lab printers. We'll start right here with the basics, downloading, installing, and opening the program for the very first time. As the series goes on, we'll be covering everything from preparing your first simple print to understanding the slicer settings right through exploring more advanced tools and the newest features. The aim is to make Bamboo Studio clear and approachable, no jargons, no unnecessary complexity, just straightforward steps so you can get the very best out of your printer. So, whether you've just finished unboxing your first printer or you're simply here to feel more confident with the software, you're in the right place. So today, we're gonna to start with part one and focus on the very beginning. Getting Bamboo Studio installed, opening and ready for your first project. So let's jump in. So first things first, we need to grab the software. So open your browser and go to your preferred search engine. In here, you're gonna type in Bamboo Studio. And then you're gonna go straight to the website. Make sure you're clicking on the official link. And then from here, you wanna choose your version for your computer. So you've got the Windows, you've got Mac, and you've got the Linux version to download. I've tried both the Windows and the Mac. Both work fine. I uh, have not had any issues. Linux, I've never used. So if there's anyone out there that knows about the Linux version and would like to comment, please add in the comment section. But yeah, so click Windows. That'll download it. Once it's downloaded, you're ready to install. All right. Once it's downloaded, go to your Downloads folder, click the exe file then you wait a few minutes for it to unpack and set itself up but while we are waiting i have an important message i un uninstalled my version of bamboo studio deleting all my settings for you so i believe this would be worth at least one like and maybe a comment and a subscribe if you feel up to it but now that we're done waiting for the uh, installer you're going to basically click on next because it's now contributed to the setup page. So click next. You've got the terms and conditions. Obviously, you can agree. And if you don't agree, cancel it. And you can't install the software. So I agree. Hit next. And now you wait for it to install. And then once it's ready, well, once it's installed, we'll be ready to do the launch uh, for the first time. Does it always feel like it takes so long installing software sometimes? Let's see, it zoomed all through all of that and in the last second. So, uh, I don't know what to do. Right, the installation is now complete. So hit next and here you're going to basically uh, give it association of files so that you are associating 3M files, STL files and step files with Bamboo Studio. So if you have any of those files on your system, they'll obviously open in Bamboo Studio unless you've told it to do otherwise. So hit close and you'll get this warning message. Now, I don't know how this warning warning message pops up. Um, I've had a look online. I don't know how to get rid of it, but it doesn't actually do anything. Just click OK. You're going to get your first launch. Now we can get started with the setup wizard. So this is what you guys will see. So let's get started here. You want to pick your uh, region. So mine's Europe and you can join the experience program. I will be skipping here. You want to basically pick your printer. So Bamboo Studios, funny enough, is not just for Bamboo printers. So you can use quite a few other machines with it. So if you've got more than just the Bamboo printer, you can by all means find your printer in here. Select that too, so it can slice for that printer. So in my case, I'm going to pick the X1 and the P1S because that's all I own. If Bamboo Labs are feeling kind enough, I will quite happily take a H2D Pro or a H2S if they're feeling up to it. But yeah, for now, just click next once you've selected your printers. And here you have your filament selection. So um, as you are still, well, sorry, let me rephrase that. If you're new to 3D printing, I'd highly recommend only using PLA. I wouldn't worry about any of the other types of filaments. Uh, just stick to PLA. Um, you've got your vendors here, so you can select 
the different vendors. So you've got some of the big known brands, Bamboo Labs, obviously, Polymaker, eSun, Overture, and Sunlu. And then you've got Generic here. And then you can pick whatever vendors you're going to use. If you don't know, you're not sure, just click all. Or obviously, if you know, pick whatever vendors it is. If your vendor's not here, Generic's the one you're after. And then down here, you pick the different filaments that you're going to use. Uh, I have quite a few selected, but that's just me. So click next. And then it'll want, it's going to install the network plugin. Again, install the plugin, finish. And then it will just do this last little update for the network. And then once that's done, click OK. Because so you guys can see it, you are now greeted with the home page. So from here, sorry, let me, that's not really the home page. Let's call it the dashboard. It'll probably be a bit easier to me keep calling it a home page or something weird and wonderful. We'll call it the dashboard. Right. So here you greet with the dashboard. Here you have user manuals. So these are quick start guides and other uh, guides Bamboo have made. Quite a good little read if you're bored one day or can't sleep. Got make a supply. And here are projects people have done from, from drawing basically to actually printing to a functional thing. So like you got you got like a cycling chair, a flashy sword that makes all that sound. Um, yeah, you got all sorts of stuff. So yeah, feel free to have a quick look through there. And come on, put that back here. And then you got make a lab. So make a lab is basically a design design studio, should we say? So you got different types of design things here. So for example, you got one here. So you could turn an image into a key ring. You've got an image that can become a statue. Uh, and so on and so forth. So this one here does flexing toys. You've got lights, all sorts of stuff here. Um, this is all free, so you don't need to pay any extra. This just comes with it. Uh, you've got a few experimental stuff that Bamboo are actually working with. So again, you guys can try them out. And yeah, see how it goes. Then you've got the online models, which is Maker's World. Maker World, for any stop calling it Maker's World. But yeah, so these are designs people have actually done and kindly up uploaded to their maker world uh, again all designs are free for you to use um, there are licensing so obviously you can't sell unless you've signed up to a commercial license with a, whatever design you go with but yeah there's hundreds and hundreds of different designs on here of whatever you could possibly think of um, got recently opened so if there's any projects you recently opened they would be here and then you got your library here so what we're going to do now is we're going to go for a login. So if you're new to Bamboo Lab and Maker World, you basically create yourself a new account and then log in. Uh, in my case, I'm going to jump off for two seconds and quickly log into my profile. And you guys do the same. Once you've successfully logged in, you'll get a message like so. Here it will ask you if you've had a Bamboo account before, it'll just ask you, do you want to sync all the information? Uh, I'm going to click yes, and then it's just going to load up my user presets and everything else. Uh, obviously, if you're new, you won't have that. Once you've logged in, what it's given me now is my print history. So these are my different prints I've done in the past. And my library is still the same, but it's got my print history just here. But that's all that's changed. Right. So next, we need to confirm your printer is connected. So you want to go to devices. Basically, here you want to see you will see the, your printers. If you can't see your printers here, then you need to link your machines to Bamboo Studio. This could be a various of issues. So it could be Wi-Fi settings, or it could just be that you need to maybe bind it with an access code or a pin number. I guess you would go through these and just follow the instructions to set up your printer. Once you've uh, got your device hooked up to the Wi-Fi, you'll basically be greeted with this. So we're going to have a look at my X1C. So play in this menu, you've got status, storage, update, and assist. So storage is time lapses so for example i oh know you can't you gotta download it so these are my different time lapses these are different model profiles it's saved after my printing uh any updates will come up in here and then any error messages will come up in the assist and that's that for that right so once we've got all that sorted uh let's prepare for our first print so what we're going to do is we're going to print something easy to print a single color we can ideally go for a bench sheet. So let's go to online models. And from here, we can do a quick search for something straightforward and simple to print. So we go here and then type in bench sheet. 
This is the Bamboo Lab Penchi. So that is the one that's preloaded already onto your printer. So if you are by your uh, 3D printer, you can actually just find this in the SD card that's pre-installed. But for now, we're going to click on it. We're going to go for the basic print. So we're going to just click on it. And this is going to load up profile. So here you can select whatever printer you're going to use. So X Carbon for me. And here you've got your different profiles people have made. So for example, you have these two from Bamboo. And then after that, you've got remixes done by other people. So these are the exact same design. Someone's just remixed it to do something else. Uh, for example, this one here, it's been designed to print in three different colors using the AMS. You've got one here. Someone's used this profile here to test PETG. I was going to actually pronounce it properly. So it's P-E-T-G, but PETG is easier to say. But again, we don't worry about any of that. We're going to go for the basic print. Yeah, and see how it goes from that. So we're going to click on the green Bamboo Lab one. So this is the same speedboat race as the one on the actual printer. So click that, click download and open, and it will drop it onto your plate. So my case it is trying to, it's what it's asking here is it's connected to X1C um, carbon model, and it's saying it's uh, on the wrong profile because it's trying to load a profile for an A1 Mini. So I'm going to switch now. Okay, I'm not going to save any of the profiles. So this is your uh, Benchy. Um, I've selected my X1 Carbon. It's changed all the settings over to my X1 Carbon now. So we're ready to do our first print. We're not going to change any settings. We're just going to leave it as it is and we're going to click Slice. And it sliced the Benchy. So that's how it's going to print. If I go to line type from here, you can see how it's going to look. So this is how it's going to print. And then you can drag this bar down and it just shows you line by line exactly what it's going to do. And then this is how it's actually going to print it. So the Benchy is actually a good test for your printer. It just makes sure it's working as it should be. It's got quite a few overhangs and other weird and wonderfuls uh, on it. And it really does put your printer through its paces. So this will give you a good test to make sure it's calibrated correctly. So now that we've sliced it, it will give you some important information here. It tells you how much filament you're going to use in grams and in length, how much it costs you. So this is filament cost, but this is bamboo's filament cost. So that will be, for example, if you bought filament from bamboo, this would be the cost it would be for that filament. You've got the prepare time is seven minutes. The model print time is 23. So it's saying a total time of 30 minutes and 42 seconds. So that's what we're going to do here. You can see some interesting um, stuff here. So you've got inner wall, outer wall. So these are ducts, different things you can see. So for example, I want to see what all the inner walls are, which are all these yellow lines. Uh, you've got your outer wall, which is orange. Um, say for example, I want to see how the head's traveling. So you can click this and this shows you exactly what the head's going to be doing while it's doing this moving around. But for today's lesson, that's that. What we're going to do now is hit print. And here you can change time lapses, water bed leveling, flow dynamics, leave all that on as it is. This is your last chance to change uh, the filament color if, if you want to do so. Um, I'm going to switch it over to black. Um, here you can also confirm your plate is the correct plate. So I've had the textured PEI plate, which is the standard plate that comes with Bamboo Labs uh, printers. But you possibly could have the black smooth plate. Uh, just make sure you have selected the right plate. If you do need to change it, just hit that X, click here, and you can pick your plate. Let me quickly show you. So hit X. Then what you do is come here and you can just pick whatever plate you've got. And then it will change its settings necessary for that. So for example, I'm going to change it to a cool plate. It's changed the plate to cool. So it's going to ask you to slice again. And then there we go, print. I'm going to change that back to black. And you just send it to the printer. Right, the print has been sent. So all we're doing now is the print is just coming to life. My uh, bed is warming up. And then once the beds reach 55, the head will heat up and then it will inject whatever filaments in the 
uh, head of your printer and it will go down this poop chute here and out the back. Obviously, if your printer's brand new, it won't be doing that. Uh, we're just about to get to the bed temperature of 55. Again, this is why it's important to make sure you select the right plate um, because each bed has a different um, heating temperature depending on what filament's in there. And I have a really good video that's worth watching on the different plates that Bamboo Lab supplies. Right, there you go. You've got your head warming up now. And I don't know if you guys can see it. It was just pooped out a load of filament. And it should go again. It should be there, look, right there. As you can see, the camera has excellent quality. Right, there you go. It's loaded the filament and it's going. Uh, what will happen is because I don't actually have enough filament in here, it's going to change straight over to this filament. They're both the same roles in the AMS and the AMS will quite happily change over to the same filament as long as it knows it's the same filament. But yeah, so once that's printed, you guys can in inspect and yeah, we'll work from there. And that's it for part one. We've downloaded, installed a Bamboo Studios, connected our printer, explored the dashboard, tried out Maker World and sliced our very first print. In part two, we're going to take a closer look at the slicing, exploring settings that control quality, speed and strength, so you can customize your prints with confidence. As this is my very first guide, I'd really appreciate any constructive feedback. Let me know in the comments what worked well and what you think could be improved and if there's any specific topics you want me to cover in future episodes. If you found this useful don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the series. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in part two.